After days of preparation, the final sanding of the decks was nearly completed. Just about there, I've removed the last bit of the um, old griffin here. I was downstairs editing and we were just talking about it. And he's like, oh, we'll wait and just do this. We get back in the water and I just, get it done. I came up and he's already ripped into it. <laughs> That's done. Last bit's here and it's all fine tuning and painting. You're incredible. Is it time for a cold beer yet or not? No, I've got to get this done. <laughs> get dusted down. Blow everything down and... No time for beer at the moment. Just hard work. Oh, I'll turn the camera off in your face. Can I have a beer? <laughs> <laughs> so You've class, done a really good job. Here. I actually got had all the, the grip in here, all the Kiwi grip, but we shower in here and the drains are about three mil too low, so I'm gonna fill them with epoxy and just leave them smooth so they're nice and easy to clean out. So this is our little shower. So we uh, gripped and fiberglass this two years ago and yeah. I'll tell you what, it's that grip good. is not flaking off one bit at all. It's really good stuff stays on. That's good because we're about to do it again. <laughs> All sanded and cleaned, ready to be painted. So we've been on the hard stand for over, over a month now. Um, yeah, it's, it's going along all right still, but we're still probably a week off getting back in the water. Um, today, just lost my shit at the kids because um, they're helpful and they're great, but they have moments, they're teenagers, they just want to go and sit on their phone and they want to go and watch a movie and not help. And uh, yeah, today it's just cracked me. So we are a normal family, they are normal children. They may look like angels on our videos, but they have their moments and I have my moments. And um, we are a real family <laughs> living in a 45 foot space on the hard sand. We are about to paint, so it's very, very exciting because we have been prepping and prepping and prepping for days on end. And like the bottom, it took a while to prep, but um, we're finally got in there. So I'm going to take you up top now and show you the boat before. Getting to the end of our list, end of our jobs, and it's getting very exciting. It has been a long time on the hard sand, but it's okay. We are doing well and we are working well as a team. We uh, just had a moment today and I just thought I'd share. Make all those mums out there feel a little bit better for if you've just had one of those days. They forgive me. I forgive them and we move on. I love when he just answers his own questions. He talks to me, but he's just really talking at me out loud well. till his brain Tells him the answer. Uh, it's like five o'clock. I've just mixed up some two pack primer. Uh, should go pretty quick from now. We're just going to prime, then paint, then put the windows back in, a few little fittings, um, mount a new dive compressor, and yeah, little bits and pieces here and there, and we should be good. A couple of days, a week. So there we go. It's going to look good though. It's going to look painted. good after today. She gets the dual lux, she'll be looking good. Yeah. And a bit of a bonus, she should be watertight. It's a bonus, if is it? No, I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh, Lee's worked his butt off to get Catalpa to this point. Catalpa is a ferro boat, and it's, there is dipples and ripples and whatnot, and it's an old boat, so we're not going to waste any more time here because time has sort of gotten away from us as it is. Yeah. We're not about looking pretty, we're about, about having just being fun. being watertight and getting back out there. Going out and living, having some adventures. But we're going to start painting. Right on. Roll. We're good to roll, we just can't forget about the hatch down here. <laughs> we didn't forget the lid. Oh yeah. The next couple of hours was spent painting the primer coat over the entire top of Catalpa. So this is what she looked like before, and this is after we... The primer on, the primer coat. 
It's very white. The whole boat is very, very white. <laughs> but thank God, it looks better than it did. It looks really good. And it's only the primer. So, we let that dry. We will send it back and then we will do another coat, I think, and then, or a top coat. I'm not sure. Oh, I think I'm walking in with paint. Oh, yeah, it is. Oops, uh, I was going to show you the back, but I'll show it later when it's dry. <laughs> oh my gosh, look. Looks really good. Super stoked because this is so much closer to getting back in the water. We've got our windows back on and back adventuring. And we didn't forget the hatch. The next morning, Lee sanded it back and I followed behind cleaning. You're a bit dangerous with that baby. And <laughs> no consistency. <laughs> All or nothing, I reckon. We are ready to go. This is two pack polyurethane gloss paint. And this is what we painted the whole top side and sides of Catalpa with. <laughs> Painting a boat sounds not too challenging, but be careful not to paint yourself into a corner. I may or may have not been stuck on a hatch after painting around the entire hatch. Whoops! Also sitting where I'd already painted. Yep, guilty as you can see. You're bleeding. Uh, I'm just trying to bring back a little bit of... You're um, bleeding. Like a lot. What did you do? Blood, sweat and tears, baby. It's got me. What did you do? I don't know. Why am I a nickname? You don't know. Hey, can I do a I think the grinder may have nicked me. Just trying to bring back a little bit of Catalpa's originality. You know, like everything's being painted over and we've got so much white going on. I just thought there's so much teak hidden under all the white. I'm just going to varnish a couple of bits up to sort of break it up a little bit. Daddy, a band aid, Bevan. Why? I should probably clean it up. Yeah. Alright, All right, I gotta get this done. So, been a little bit camera shy lately, but we're just flat out. And we're just. Not enough time in the day. Bring your body and your mind. These timber handles were sanded back, then varnished with several coats. Lad is 14! Woo! Happy birthday, baby! From the first time I set my eyes on you I didn't know from the start 
I didn't know how you turned my life around Or how in love I'd be with who you are But you showed me what it means to be loved The way you touch me, hold me quietly You're everything I am not And when I have you in my arms I feel undone so in a long way, I've come to say I love you. We took the day off the tools to enjoy Taj's birthday, starting with a brekkie buffet here at the resort. Breakfast of champions, that one, eh? After we filled our bellies, we caught the ferry to Lankawi. This is the Langkawi Sky Cable Cars. And it may not be the longest or highest cable car in the world, or even in Malaysia. However, it has a spectacular backdrop, a 450 million year old mountain range, the oldest rock formation in Southeast Asia. This 15 minute cable car ride is 2,150 metres long and climbs 680 metres. Waterfalls over here, right there. We're gonna go yep. see them, aren't we, Tash? Yep. But first, we visited the 3D art place. You leave your shoes at the door and walk in to see some pretty cool 3D art paintings. You pretty much walk around taking photos of each other. They say not to feed the monkeys. That's not good for you. Sorry, mate. Is that yummy? <laughs> Hi. No more. Is that nice? <laughs> I just we missed this on camera, but there was a monkey and it ran at touch and he threw his biscuit. <laughs> oh, I wish I got that on camera. <laughs> everywhere. What does that say honey? These monkeys up here in the trees. They're about here. And they're really cute. They've got little white faces. White eyes. Different monkeys to what we've seen. After many steps we got up to the top and to these rock pools. Time to cool off.
we're going to walk down on the way down. There's a waterfall, so we'll go check that out too. <laughs> the waterfall didn't have a lot of water. This time of year in Lenkawi is dry season, but Bella still managed to find this baby one. Dinner at a restaurant and cake and another year around the sun begins for our wonderful little man. Words can't express how proud we are of you, mate. Keep being you because you are one hell of a guy and we love you. Hey to you. Happy birthday, dear Tash. Happy birthday to you. Hooray. Hooray. Join us next time as we put our windows back on Catalpa. Today our windows are going back on. <laughs> It all comes all thanks to you all All thanks to y'all <laughs> We started earlier today, maybe we'll get them all done today <laughs> Windows are a pain They're a pain It's a process but you don't want them to leak, so.